Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adam. If you love luxury fashion, you're definitely gonna love my channel. So make sure you like, subscribe, and check out my Instagram below for all the latest updates. And today, let's get right into it. Today's video, I will be discussing is Chanel a cult? Because if you look closely, there is a huge difference between the people who love Chanel and the people who love Hermes. In my other video, deciding should I buy a Chanel classic flap or a Birkin, I was really surprised because the majority of you guys actually said get the Birkin. And I do understand it because of the quality reasoning behind it. To be honest, I was really surprised that nobody said Chanel. So in this video, I want to go over is Chanel really a cult classic? Here's where my theory begins. So I was born in the early 1990s. Something that I really did notice is before the year like 2005, I never once heard of the word Birkin or even Hermes. It was always Chanel, Chanel, Chanel. Chanel was honestly the biggest designer brand in the entire world. Everybody wanted a Chanel bag, whether it was a Chanel wallet on chain or a Chanel classic flap. Chanel was the epitome of luxury fashion. However, ever since the year 2005, it's always been about like the Hermes bag and the Birkin bag. Now technically Hermes has been around longer than Chanel, However, not too many people knew what Hermes was, unless you were like really, really like old money. But if you were more on like the middle class side, it was all about Chanel. Here I actually do have some examples. So let's take the classic celebrities that we knew growing up in the early 2000s and the 90s. Let's take Paris Hilton for example. Paris Hilton, you have never once seen her with an Hermes bag before the year 2005. It was always a Chanel bag, sometimes a Dior as well, but it was always Chanel classic flaps. My first Chanel was when I was five years old. I got a Chanel bag for Christmas, and then I got my first Chanel suit. Baby pink, it actually looked like this when I was 13. <laughs> So I'm wearing Chanel my whole life. And still to this day, Paris Hilton has a giant collection of Chanel bags. She even did say on one of her shows that she doesn't really care for the Birkin bag. She thinks it's boring. She loves Chanel and even her mom agreed. If you don't know who Kathy Hilton is, Kathy Hilton is Paris's mom and she loves Chanel just as much. She always has a Chanel bag. And that's what I'm talking about. It's like anybody that was born in the 90s or earlier is all obsessed with Chanel and Chanel will never die. Now, I will say that the current quality of Chanel, it is very hit and miss. And that is because whoever did start owning it really stopped like caring about how many bags they produced a year and was really just like throwing them all out. However, for me, like I will say that since I grew up with like Chanel being the epitome of luxury fashion, nothing will ever change that fact to me. I know a lot of people want me to get the Birkin instead of the Chanel bag. But in all honesty, I kind of do want the Chanel first. However, I will admit that these days I will get the Chanel pre-owned because of the quality reasons. If you get a pre-owned bag, ironically, it's better quality, it's made with real gold, and just everything better is about it if you get pre-owned rather than new. Because if you get new, then you always get to like the current quality issues. And I'll be honest, I don't think Chanel is currently worth the price of the handbags in today's society because the classic flap used to be $2,000 and now it is $10,000. Well, technically the maxi flap is $12,000, which really does offend me because again, the quality isn't there. I'll be the first person to say that this bag should have always been $10,000 because to me, this was my version of the Birkin. And if a Birkin's $10,000, well, this bag definitely does deserve to be $10,000 as well. But again, the quality isn't there at the back of the... But I have to be honest, I'd probably get the Chanel first pre-owned and then invest in the Birkin. That's just because of who I am. Again, for me, I am a Chanel girly. Like even Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner. Kris Jenner especially loves, loves, loves Chanel. Again, it was because she was born before the 2000s. Giving you this as your present for Friday. What was Friday? I feel like I'm over it. You don't like it? Okay, never what mind. What was Friday? No, I'm just saying, it's like your Friday gift. And her Chanel bag collection is honestly insane. I would love that giant hula hoop bag. The second it came out, everybody was like, who in the world would wear that? And I was like, oh my God, I would thousand percent totally would. That would be like my everyday bag. You could do so many fun things with the hula hoop bag. I definitely do see the examples of everyone from the older generations are totally obsessed with Chanel, even still till this day, but the younger crowd is more Hermes. So if you notice like Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner, they all loved the Chanel. But all of the younger sisters, like Kendall and Kylie, especially Kylie, all about the Hermes Birkin. And again, I really just think it's because of the year they were born. So anyone who like really grew up in the year like 2003, maybe even 2005, 
they started to hear about Birkins. Birkins really started to become a thing. Even Lindsay Lohan started to carry Birkins in the early 2000s. And now again, Lindsay loves Chanel. Lindsay is a Chanel girly at heart. Because of the hype and that she was the early 2000s it girl, of course she went with Hermes. However, if you know this now, she is back to carrying all of her Chanel bags. Where are her Birkins? Who knows? Because she only really carries her Chanel's. In my head, I'm curious, is Chanel a cult classic or is it just a cult? I kind of do think Chanel is just a little bit of a cult because again, if you love Chanel, if you were born into the Chanel being the holy grail of luxury fashion, you will always think that. Hermes is very great, Hermes has been there longer, but again, I just kind of feel like it's a cult. If you're a Chanel girl, you're a Chanel girl, and if you were born later and you are now an Hermes girl, you are an Hermes girl for life. Now, of course, can people change and switch it up? Of course, everybody can change and wear any kind of style or any type of brand bag. However, again, in my opinion, I always see the girls with Chanel are from the older generation. Which also brings up the point, is Chanel out of date? Is Chanel like the new like grandma bag? Because that would be absolutely insane. If you look at the Chanel bag, Chanel is totally so much younger in like the youth and the vibe aspect than a Birkin. A Birkin is more of a grandma bag than a Chanel bag. So when it comes to the two, comment it down below. Do you think a Chanel is a more grandma-like bag or a Birkin is a more grandma-like bag? Because I'm actually really, really curious to hear everyone's opinion. Now, of course, we all know that the Chanel and the Birkin are now the same price, and the Birkin, I'll be the first one to admit that it actually is worth the money. So we all know that a bag does not cost 10,000s to make, no matter what material you use, unless you're using like a super rare crocodile or super rare diamonds that actually do have the value to make it that expensive. However, Hermes, they do own a lot of the world's best leathers and they have it trademarked and everything to where nobody can use it. And their leathers are honestly the most long lasting leathers. So the cost to make an actual Birkin bag is probably $1,000 to $2,000. And there was a video, I don't remember the video because it was just one of those like weird Instagram reels that you know disappear after you see it. But somebody who actually works at the factory made bags from the actual leathers and product and admitted that for a basic Togo leather bag, it would maybe be like $1,000 because of the actual material put into it. But if you're talking about any crocodile bags, probably around $2,000, $3,000 for it to make, especially if you start to get into the Hermes Diamond Kelly, then it's gonna be about $3,000 to actually make the handbag from start to finish. However, you know, you do get into the, like the crazy aspects where sometimes a bag actually is $10,000 to make. Now, I cannot confirm nor deny this, but I believe he actually said that the price of the diamond, Himalayan Birkin, specifically the diamond one, did cost about $10,000 to actually produce. And again, that's just because of the diamonds. For the leather and the material, it was probably like two to $3,000, but the diamonds is what made it like a 10,000 bag to actually make. So when you compare the 10,000 to make it and it resales for $120,000, you know, you are paying for a really, really good quality bag, but you're also paying for the name of the brand and the time put into it. Hermes, they don't make their bags by a machine. Hermes is only specifically handcrafted and it takes years to even become a tailor for Hermes. You have to go through training, this whole initiation process, and afterwards, then you actually get to make your first Birkin after like three years of making bags from them. So when it comes to these bags, they are very, very great. The price points, they honestly do make sense. I do understand why Birkins are $10,000 bags. But again, like the Chanel, I wish the Chanel was better quality because back then they did use real gold. It was handmade. And now I hate to say it, but Chanel, they do use machines. They're producing too many bags where everything's crooked. And the quality of the materials does not cost $12,000 at all. I hate to say it, but the Chanel bag that is like my holy grail probably only costs like $500 to $800 to make. And I'm being generous with that price tag because a lot of people want to say like, oh, like a Dior bag is $57 to make. Yeah, that one piece of leather might be $57. You also have to imagine that they have to pay the people, they have to pay for materials. It might just be the cost of the leather. You're not getting the entire point of the price just by those three items. You also have to realize that a designer store on Rodeo, it's like a million dollars a month just to rent the store alone. 
So in order to have an expensive brand, you have to have expensive prices because you're going to have expensive bills. So, you know, just because a bag is like $57 to make for the leather, you have to include the fact that you're not just buying any bag. You are buying a designer handbag, helping support them to keep their Rodeo store, to keep all of their boutiques, and to keep the name and the stature of which they are. And then my final point is the non-designer bags. So you might be like, oh, a Dior bag is only $57 to make. All right, great. Well, that's real leather and that's great genuine quality. However, let's look at the bags from Target and like Ross Dress for Less. Those materials would literally be like 10 cents to make. So when you compare a $57 bag to a 10 cents or even like a $1.50 bag, right there you can see that the quality is amazing pricing. And if you just like add another zero, there you go. You get thousands to like, you know, like a hundred or something. So you have to take that into notion and consider that as well, because that really does make the differences on the price point. So comment down below, do you think Chanel is a cult classic or do you just think Chanel is a cult altogether? And it's like, if you're born in a certain era, you are forever a Chanel girl. Or are you currently like born now in this generation and do you love Chanel? So, you know, whatever your opinion is or comments, comment it down below. I'm really, really excited to hear all of it. I want to hear your thoughts on that, but I also want to know when it comes to the grandma bags, do you think Hermes is more grandma-like or Chanel is more grandma-like? So comment that down below as well. And again, thank you so much for watching. I really, really do appreciate it and have a great day. Au revoir.